I'm a ghost too. Oh. <laughs> I'm a ghost too. <laughs> I'm a ghost too, everybody. You know why I'm a ghost? Because we're here to talk about midnight ghost life. Not even the same Because you died. <laughs> Doesn't matter. It's a ghost, and this I game has ghosts in the I name. forgot about that game. <laughs> well, you know, we just talked about it. Yeah. Oh, shit. It's good Woo. stuff. So what are we talking about today? We are talking about midnight ghost hunts. Why are we talking about it? Because several months ago, back when we... <laughs> Dude, it's old news. Right before all the games yeah, came out... Uh, there was this game that came out free on the Epic Game Store. Fortunately, it's not free Sorry, anymore. We didn't let you guys know <laughs> sooner. I think we, I think we did actually. I think we didn't mentioned we? Yeah, at one we point. Did. We yeah, let we people know. That's why we got it because we're like, yeah. oh, it's free. Yeah, yeah. I thought I messaged you guys. No, yeah, y'all did. You did, you did. and then okay. we didn't talk about it on the podcast, and no. then but then we never talked about it because so much other shit came out. Yeah, we had Tears of the Kingdom, and then we had a guest in the podcast. Summer and Games then we had Fest, Summer Games Fest, other and we had Diablo Four. It's a lot of stuff happening. Now we have oh, yeah. nothing to talk about, so we're going to go back to this and talk <laughs> <Yeah>. about this. <laughs> so, <laughs> Midnight Ghost Hunt. What is this game? Uh, this is a description on Steam. says, Lying in wait across a series of cursed locations, relentless spirits stalk the halls. Assigned to eliminate them are the ghost hunters, armed to the teeth with a ghoul-busting tech to banish them to another realm. Play both ghost and hunter in a chaotic 4v4 struggle between the living and the dead. So this is a game that came out. It's been out for a little over a year. It came out, I think, in 2022, at the end of the year. Yeah. And then it came out for us on Epic Games for free. And we're like, let's do this. And it's like Ghostbusters, but <laughs> instead of 4v1, it's 4v4. Nice. And, and ghosts. it's kind of like a mix of prop hunt in, in the beginning portion of yes. the game. So for the viewers that don't know, what is prop hunt? Yeah, what is prop hunt? <laughs> Oh, Jesus, y'all throw it at me. I don't I know. know but, oh, okay. Uh, usually uh, with this game, you hide inside of a, a like a box or a statue or something and stay hidden away from the ghost hunters until it reaches, what, midnight? Yep. So you stay hidden, but is whenever you stay hidden for so long, you start to uh, build up this goo or whatever they call it, and then the ghost hunters are more attracted to you when they're using their radar to find you. So you kind of got to switch through and hide uh, and just try to move around until the time's up. So then it reverses the roles where the ghosts are actually able to hunt down the hunters, which I find very fun. And yeah. Yeah. You phenomenal. get wrecked. Oh, like, very fast. Like, where do you go? Like, how do you escape? There's no escaping. So it? like there, there, one example get is good. get good. Yeah. That, that's the key thing. One thing that I did whenever I first started playing and I was playing the ghost, I found a uh, radio on top of a rock and I hid in there for the longest time. No one could find me. And I just like the goo clicked up and they were searching for me, but they never looked up. <laughs> so they're constantly running around trying to find me. And Travis, who was playing another ghost, one of the uh, uh, our friends and stuff, he's just like, oh, you're up there. I was like, shut up. Don't say anything. And he <laughs> hopped up there with me, and then he ev eventually left. But as long as there's, like, one ghost, so, for example, if they take out the other ghost and they vacuum them up, as long as there's one ghost alive until midnight, then all the other ghosts reappear, reappear and you can able to take down the hunters. And that's the only time that you're really able to take down the hunters. As the ghost playing defense side, I'm going to call it defense side, you still can, like, mess with the hunters you can throw stuff at them you can kind of hurt hurt them but you can't really hurt them physically as a ghost until you turn until past midnight and then you turn on them yeah so you turn red and you're scary as shit and you just attack yeah so on on steam they talked about just to add a little bit more i mean that's a great description obviously was it it was a great description. Oh, okay. Yes, yeah. Um, but uh, they, they mentioned that like when you're a ghost, you consider yourself inside seemingly harmless pieces of furniture to evade the hunters, but when their backs are turned, turn the environment against them with telekinetic kinetic bombardment. Go. No chair, lamp, or grandfather clock is innocent in this hijinks frenzy. But at 12, the witching hour begins and the hunters become the hunted. The tables turn and ghosts <coughs> become supercharged, giving hunters a limited amount of time to survive the vengeful wrath. So you really want to, yeah. as a survivor, go or the hunter, go and find these ghosts and destroy them before the clock strikes 12, which gives you about, I think, what? It's five minutes. Five minutes. Yeah. Five minutes and then five minutes afterwards, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. So to kill the hunters. 
I really like that. It's this, so unfair when it, <laughs> the last five minutes. I know, yeah. <laughs> It's like really puts emphasis <laughs> on that. And it's interesting too, because one thing that we found out when we were playing this game, uh, it's not streamer friendly because there is proximity chat features in this game in that, especially when you're a ghost, there's an ability you can unlock that allows you to like talk and like, uh, what, do you, what do you call it? Um, throw your voice. So if you're a ghost and you're like in this little like building or whatever, you're in this like, you know, say you're in a chair in one corner of the room, you can throw your voice with this ability and it'll throw it to the other side of the room. So it distracts the hunters into going over there. That. So there was, yeah. So there was a guy and I eventually unlocked this ability and was like fucking with people because I thought it was really funny. And then you can like run around and just be like, oh, hey, I'm over here. I'm over here. And really your voice is like way over there, but you're way over there. Throwing this side. your voice. Oh. Yeah. So there's some interesting mechanics that, so both sides, <laughs> both hunters and survivor and ghosts have an upgrade tree that as you play the game, you get like points that you can then use to unlock abilities and mm-hmm. weapons. So there's a lot of different weapons in this game. There's a lot of different, um, there's probably like 16 to 20 different abilities you can use. Speaking about abilities, um, I'm going to throw this out there because I thought it was a glitch. But whenever uh, I was playing a hunter and we were loading in and we were coming in, and as we're coming in, it shows like a view of the map. And I see one of my teammates already on the map running around. (laughs) And I was just like, that must be a glitch. So I didn't say anything because everyone's talking and stuff. I didn't think of anything of it. Uh, Turns out one of the guys that were playing the ghost was able to like pretend to be the hunter. Oh, that's clever. And freaking run around. So it confused everyone because I was just like, I just saw you over here and the person took me out. I'm like, what the hell is going on? So I was very confused. So the ghost, get, 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 get. ghost have the ability to transform into a hunter and run around to distract and do some damage. So that. I, I feel like a very um, uneven balance because <laughs> it threw me off a very, like, I, I didn't even know that was an ability. That's so, crazy. Yeah. I got to say, I think initially, like, looking at the trailer, watching a little bit of gameplay, being like, this actually could be better than Ghostbusters. And I think we all said that. We're like, oh, wait, you know what? Ghostbusters is dead now. Let's just get into this. It's going to be a lot more fun. It's quick. It's fast paced, blah, blah, blah. What I played, I actually think I prefer Ghostbusters better. How come? Because it's a longer match. I think it's the, the, with the time given, I think there's enough time for each side to potentially turn the ties and win. And here I feel like it's it's all just the ghosts. Favoring the ghosts. Yeah. Now, I mean, I'm sure you get better over time, and I, I haven't really dived into the upgrades or anything, and maybe that helps you track down the ghosts better. But, man, I just felt like... You get to midnight, and wh- what do you do? The ghosts are overpowered, and they kill you in, like, two hits. And yeah. they're like, well, there goes the game. Like, if one ghost can stay alive, which is fine. I mean, that's the whole point, right? Mm-hmm. But I'm like, dude, they all come back? <laughs> I don't know. I think there, there's still a chance, because we had a game where the ghost came back, and we thought we were going to dominate, because we took down two, and there was only one left. But the ghost was able to, like outmaneuver us so much that he he actually killed us wait so one ghost comes back or they all come back uh, they all count they all came back okay. but one ghost was able to outmaneuver us enough oh to but kill you us killed all. everybody you yeah. killed the other ghost we killed the other two when ghosts. they're super powered yep how it, like did y'all team said, up? you just gotta uh, get good man is there weapons and yeah well attachments i mean you, you can take whatever? them down it's there because the only i mean they can they can get you but you're still stronger as a hunter. Yeah. It's just there's much more advantage to them because they, they do a little bit more but, damage. But they're not like they don't have guns, you know. You have guns, they don't. So you can you can run around and like, you know, use that to your advantage. Like they Man, just I, slash you and I've been running around out. shooting these guys and I'm like, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Just got to whenever you know it's like after midnight, you just got to keep that distance between you. Because the only thing they can do is come up and hit you, yeah. unless they have some kind of special ability, or like throw shit at you. But you got to keep that distance, and that that's the key thing is the distance. Whenever that yeah. happens, I really think though that this game, um, I right now, no, granted, I haven't played enough matches yet. Because like Ghostbusters when that game first came out, freaking love that game. Oh yeah, Absolutely I still love that it. game. I don't enjoy. I don't want to go back and play that game anymore. Like I'm really? not not because of this, just because. I got bored of it. 
Yeah. Like I feel like I've done those maps enough. I've done it's a it's a loop that like with Battlefield, you know, as an example. I feel like every time I play Battlefield, it's like there's something new that happens. I'm like, oh shit, like that was crazy. I never expected that to happen. And Ghostbusters, it's like, okay, I kind of have done the things enough. And then I don't like that. Well, if I want to play a ghost, it's like freaking impossible to play a ghost because it never matches you correctly. So that's a little glitchy thing. But I like in this that. I thought they fixed that. The uh, last time I played, I didn't, but hmm. I don't know. Um, but I like in this that you have the opportunity on both sides. There's. I like that you can have four people play a ghost and then four people play regular mid things. You know, it's not it's not offset where it's like, okay, you have three people in here that are doing thing. Just like an evil dead, you know, it's like I love that game, but it was always weird in that you had to if we're playing with a group, one person has to be quiet or go to another channel to pl- interact with us. Whereas in here it's like we all play one side or we all play the other side. And I kinda like that it keeps the group together um in a in a game, you know, a, so- a social experience. But um, but I do think there's still some things that Ghostbusters does better. Um, like I don't, I think the it's more silly in Ghostbusters, like run around and like jumping through like different things. And I don't feel like I like in this game. I feel like I just have to like sit in a freaking prop for a while and just like wait, wait it out and hope they don't find me. And in Ghostbusters, there's like as of when I played it last, which I mean again upgrades might change that. Like I can in Ghostbusters like sit in a thing y'all find me i'm like haha bye and like take off and run you have ability and get yeah, away abilities, quickly drop stuff and this one i can't get away as fast i yeah. feel like it, it it caters to the hunters in a way but i enjoy the fact that as a hunter we can all you know work together track them down but as ghosts it's like we can team up as ghosts and like fuck these guys up you know and take them down which i think is also interesting that i wish we had more of in I wish it was more of the team play, just like in this reminds me of Left for, Left for Dead, and that in Left for Dead, like as zombies, you can team up and like take people down and gang up on the hunters, whereas you can't do that in Ghostbusters. So I like that aspect here. Not saying that you know one's better than the other per se, but I mean this one might get boring too. But I I also enjoy the, some of the progression stuff in here because I like those unlockables, you know, with skills that you don't have in Ghostbusters. You just have yeah. cosmetics. Well, no, you, have, items. Items. you, got you items. have skills and you have items that you can upgrade. <laughs> a little bit, but it's, it's, I, I'm going to have to lean more towards Austin on this one. I think I enjoy Ghostbusters a little bit more Yeah, just because of like, yeah. to me, I feel like it's more equal and I feel like they explain how to use the mechanics a little bit, a little bit more. That's fair. Better. I guess you would say it's better explained. In, in this one, I'm trying to figure out what's what to use, how to use it, and it's just like it, it's kind of complicated. And I, it just and I feel like you can team up pretty good. Like if you know the map, you'd be like, "Hey, you go this way, you go that way. We'll yeah. try to flush the ghost out." And you have to work together at some point to capture the ghost because one person's got to hold them, one person's got to put it out. Yeah, another person can come in and help hold the ghost a little longer. Mm-hmm. I feel like that lends to that. And I thought I thought this was going to kill that game. Me until too. I yeah, played same. it, and yeah. I was like. Damn, I kind of just want to go back to that. And I was really hoping Same. because I felt like Ghostbusters was on its way out. I mean, it is. I don't think it's being played as much anymore, but for that kind of gameplay, I think. This one also felt a little good. buggier, as much crazy as it sounds, because there was some bugs in Ghostbusters, but yeah. the mechanics feel better in Ghostbusters in most yes. cases. Yes. Yeah. And we also had a shit time trying to get matches going in when this round we were playing. Mm-hmm. The matchmaking but is not that great in this. For being out for a year, I was kind of disappointed by yeah. that. Um, it has like yeah. a dead before daylight kind of vibe. I agree. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Which it's is like a bad. Thing. Good for what it is, but it's like still kind of kind of buggy and kind of broken no, in places. Yeah. But I think the UI is really nice. I think the game looks really good. Um, there's a lot of cool mechanics in here. I kind of wish we could just like merge the two games together and like add some of the character and fun of moment to moment fun and Ghostbusters into this game. Yeah. And you have a pretty good combo, but you don't have that. Oh, you can move around in this too. That's yeah, nice. you can. Yeah, you can move around with little little things. I didn't play the ghost. We I'm had ghost. And plus, if you die as a ghost, which I, I still don't understand this concept, whenever you die, well, die, whenever you are like defeated as a ghost before the midnight strikes you turn into another kind of ghost yeah and you can do a cold wave against the hunters it like stuns them it slows does them down. it stun them not stun it slows them down it slows them down 
So I was constantly doing that. I was running around trying to, like, it felt like there was no big effect to it. You know what I mean? Like I would do it, then I'll wait to charge up, so I'll keep following. So what I would do instead of doing that, I would communicate with my team and be like, hey, just follow me and you'll know where the hunters is at. You know, because yeah. you, you see the marker of mm. the dead ghost. So that's how I utilize that. But I, I didn't see the cold stunning doing like a major effect on the hunters at all, which kind of annoyed me. Mm. Mm. Yeah. And then once again, like if you get if you get caught, it, it's kind of hard to run away. In Ghostbusters, whenever you get caught, you get that good boost and you can fucking really yeah, dip yeah. away and then it's like a real hunt. But I think the main reason why they kind of did that is because you're you're trying to find four ghosts instead of just one. They found Brett. Yeah. In this I, know, I was he so thought he found this him. here. I oh, was wow, like, he didn't find him. Oh, yeah, shit. <laughs> and they still eventually found me, but it was it took I was surprised I was staying alive because everybody else and and they were watching a Twitch stream of our uh, one of our gameplay moments in this game and there was a time where I was in this warehouse by myself and everybody else was in the other building and the entire hunter team was over here. I was like, oh, oh. fuck, they're going to find me. They're going to find me. They didn't see you go away. I know. I would like to try this game again. Yeah, I would too. Yeah. I'd like to try it with y'all because I get yeah. to try it with yeah. y'all. Well, we'll get together and like run a run a deal with it. Maybe after we do our division stream, we'll jump back into the, the Midnight Ghost. Midnight Ghost. Well, we're we supposed to play this on our land party. Day. Yeah, we were. Oh, yeah. We never yeah. did. Oh. We had we it as one of on our Fortnite. games. What else did we play? There's a lot of games field. to play. Yeah. yeah, a lot of good games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So Midnight Ghost on everybody. Uh, just so y'all know, it is available on Steam right now for six dollars and seventy nine cents. So oh, it's on wow. sale. Normally it's nineteen ninety nine, but uh, it's on Steam. It's on Epic Games. Um, I don't believe this is a. Um, multi-platform game i believe it's just pc so if you want to pick this up you have to pick it up on your pc (laughs) (laughs) yeah your pc get on your pc are you hard yes you heard okay uh, cool awesome guys pick it up on pc (laughs) pc only is where it's at right now sorry i'm sure it'll come to consoles soon doubt it yeah, it has no, not been announced not for Xbox console. or any other things. They are open to it, but they haven't announced it. Oh, I guess that's not doing as good as they thought. Why is this guy a pigeon? Because cool. cosmetics, dude. A hunter is a pigeon. Yeah, it's dude. Great. They're trying to be Fortnite. Uh, yeah, they can do it. <laughs> oh, they can pigeon. do it. Midnight Ghost Hunt. 